Hi there, and welcome to Reveal, an advanced automation tool for Facebook ads. My name is Iskander, and I'm going to show you how to create your first automated rule with Reveal. Let's get started. Logging into the system, going straight to Automation tab. Now here you can see the list of all my automated rules sorted neatly into folders, and I'm going to go ahead and create a new one. I'm starting with the rule name. It's very important to give it a distinctive name so that you can see it in the list of all your automated rules. The next big step is where I define the items that are going to be affected by this rule. So the first thing is I'm going to choose my ad account. I have Reveal Bot selected here. And the next thing is where I select those items. So I'll click on this button. It fires up a pop-up where I have two ways of selecting the items. The first one is manual, where I specifically select the items that I want this rule to have effect on. First, you define the level on which the rule will be applied. That basically means that this rule is going to be applied either to your campaigns or your ad sets or ads. So let's say I keep ad sets here. Then I'm just gonna look at the table here. I see all my campaigns. And now I can just tick on any number of campaigns here. So let's say I select those two campaigns and have an ad set level selected. What that means is that this rule that I'm gonna create is gonna apply to all ad sets in these two selected campaigns. Of course, I can open up any campaign and if I have multiple ad sets here, I can just select specific ones. And the same goes for ads and campaigns. The second option is where you can sort of automate the whole selection process. If you click on the select by name option, uh, you'll see an ability to create a filter. That thing can help you automate the process by selecting all items that contain or do not contain a specific name tag in their names. I'm going to create a filter saying ad set that contains the word say California. So next time you add an ad set that contains the word California in it will be automatically added to the bulk of items that are affected by this rule. Okay so the next step is creating the very task. First step is to choose your action. And you can choose from pausing ad set, from starting them, changing budgets, or uh, increasing, decreasing, and setting bits, and duplicating well-performing ad sets. So let's start with the basics. So let's say at around 11 p.m. I want to pause my ad set. So what I do is I just create a simple condition saying time is greater than 11 p.m. And time is less then 12 a.m. every day. And now let's say I want to do something more elaborate than that. What I do is I add another condition. So now what that shows me is that in the period between 11 p.m. and 12 a.m. I'm gonna check my return on ad spend as well. And if it's less than 2, then it's gonna be paused. All right. And now, uh, let's say return on ad spend is not the only benchmark that I use. Let's say I'm also interested in cost per lead. So what I can do is I can actually use nested conditions. So let's do that. I'm clicking nested conditions here. And I'm going to come up with the rule saying something like return on ad spend is less than 2. That's something we just did. And the second condition would be cost per lead is greater than let's say five in my case and now you see that those two are connected by and at the moment so I switch it to or but now what what this rule tells me now is that I'm gonna pause my ad set in the period between 11 p.m. and 12 a.m. if Either my return on ad spend is too low or my cost per lead is too high. 
All right, so now when we defined our conditions and selected the items, we've basically done 80% of the whole process. So the rest is pretty straightforward. So attribution window is basically how you attribute views and clicks on your ads. These are the full Facebook settings, so you can leave them as they are. The next step is actually pretty cool, is where you can set a notification to either your email or your Slack. So just click Notify and you'll see options here. So let's say I'm going to send it to Marketing Channel in Slack and to my email. Okay, and so the last step will be to just uh, set your schedule. So you can ask Reveal to check as often as every 15 minutes so that it will scan through all the items that you have selected would compare its conditions to the ones you have in the rule and would trigger actions depending on that. All right, so there you go. We've created our first rule. I click Submit. Okay, so now I've created my rule. You can see it here. It's toggled on. You can turn it off at any time. And one other cool thing is that you can track this rules performance and everything that happens to the items that are affected by this rule by hitting logs here to the right. So now I'll be able to see all the conditions that I have and all the reports about each check. So you see here I have only one because I just submitted this rule. I can hit details. I'll be able to see the list of all items. I'll be able to see their current metrics and their new statuses. And as you can see here in the pop-up, when I hover upon them, I can see in green the rules that match, and in red those that don't match. I can also click on the item ID to see the logs for a specific item. And that's it. That's how you create automated rules with Reveal. Hit us up with any questions, and have a great ROAS.